This is it. I hate doing this stuff. I don't know how my dad's done this his whole life. I kind of want to go back to the days where like, I just stand there with the flashlight and my dad would just yell at me. I feel like we all kind of have those memories as kids. I actually, uh, now that I think about it, I kind of understand like, I'd yell at a kid right now. This is terrible. What's up guys, it's Caleb Danner here. I'm introing the video this time. Normally I'm behind the camera. So I just wanted to give a little bit of backstory about how we got into this situation. So first off, that Elantra did belong to my wife beforehand. You may recognize it from some of our previous videos. So we sold it to Jake because he wanted a winter vehicle so he didn't mess up his uh, Nissan Z from all the famous Pennsylvania road saw. Now when I was selling Jake the car, he's like, yeah, so like, is there anything wrong with it? And I'm like, I was like, well, first off, the CD player doesn't work because when I was like 16 and my wife and I were dating. I was like sticking this piece of cardboard in the CD player, just messing around. And uh, and then one time it just didn't come out. Um, so it hasn't worked since then. And then I was like, yeah, and occasionally the door handles will just fly off. But if you're just careful, you know, you can keep them on. And then the last thing was that, you know, there's not really heat or air in the car because uh, on the day that we actually bought my wife's new car, I was driving that home, you know, from AAA after signing the title. And uh, I'm just in a good mood, you know, just bought a new car, we're excited, and I'm bumping to some metal music, and I'm just kind of like turning the, uh, the temperature dial back and forth to the music, and the only problem with that is, is metal music is pretty, you know, pretty upbeat, and um, so I'm cranking that thing back and forth super fast, which was obviously a terrible idea, and um, totally broke the temperature blend door. So uh, there has been no heat or AC in the car since then. Um, so I told him, you know, just buy the part, like I know that's what's wrong with it, and he's like, all right, cool. So that brings us to now where he is trying to swap that part. Hey guys, this is Planner Danner here, uh, AKA son of Scanner Danner. Um, today we're working on a 2008 Hyundai Elantra. There's a couple of these uh, customer complaints. Um, first being there is a craft single uh, piece of cheese in the CD player. Um, just kind of like, Oh, actually didn't happen. Just come off. Um, so that's complaint number two. Um, complaint number three, and this is the one that we're gonna work on today. We need to replace, I believe, the blend door actuator. Uh, Caleb just sold, he's like, yeah, I, everything's fine with the car. I think the heat's good. Nope, this is my winter car and it, and it needs some heat. So this morning when I drove to work, it's about 20 degrees in Pittsburgh. My ears were just like hurting. Um, so I'm gonna take you through the process of how to change the blend door actuator on the 2008 Hyundai Elantra. Um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing me struggle because I have no idea what I'm doing. A lot of people say to me, Scanner Dan is your dad. Like my car is making this sound or it's doing this. Like, do you think you'd be able to help me? And I'm like, no, like my elbow has been hurting for a lot of years and your dad's a doctor. Like what's wrong with my elbow? I don't know, dude. So we're going to go through the process of replacing this and let's see how we do. Here is, uh, uh, the actuator. I don't know what actuating means. It sounds fancy. Not really sure what's being actuated or what that really means. So where it's located. It's up above the gas pedal right here. Here is the non-working actuator. So today's tools of choice. I don't really have much to work with. So I have my roommate's socket kit with some Allen wrenches. And then I have my handy dandy $5 Stanley um, reversible screwdriver, which I think I need something smaller to get in there and do some work. My dad will link this on his, uh, you know, he has a list of like tools and stuff you can buy. So $5 at Home Depot, shout out Stanley. Actually, brilliant idea. I could just use it like this. It's big brain time. This is where mechanic hands come in handy. Like I got these dainty little like financial planner hands. At least I lift sometimes, so that's cool. Okay, so we're under the dash and I am really having no luck. Um, I'm now found, finding out there's like two blend door actuators or like one's a temperature blend door actuator. I just got this part and then I found out through YouTube that like I'm gonna maybe have to do the other one. I don't know what's, which one's wrong. So we're just gonna try to replace this one here. Cause I mean, I have the part already, so I might as well. But prime example, don't be a parts changer. This might be the worst video of all time. I'm gonna be breaking dude. 
stuff, breaking stuff. Son of a gun. This is, I hate doing this stuff. I don't know how my dad's done this his whole life. Like even just like unscrewing like a simple screw. I mean, I have the jankiest screwdriver ever, but like I can't get it and I'm gonna strip it. And I'm gonna be mad. I kind of want to go back to the days where like, I just stand there with the flashlight and my dad would just yell at me. I feel like we all kind of have those memories as kids. I'd rather be doing that right now. And I, I actually, uh, now that I think about it, I kind of understand, like, I'd yell at a kid right now. This is terrible. Because what you guys aren't seeing is me struggling for so long off camera, because I don't know what's going on. One thing my dad could always do is he could always, like, kind of feel where things are, like, on the car. I never understood that, because, like, this is for me, like, my tongue can feel what's, like, stuck in my teeth but like my finger can't find it. No, oh, son of a gun. This is so frustrating. We're working with limited stuff here, so I don't even know. Let's see. Everyone who's watching this probably thinks I'm like really stupid. I have this thing, this ratchet, and I'm gonna see which like socket I can fit this into. Um, and then, cause I think I have enough space to use that, but not enough for the screwdriver. So. Yeah. All right, guys, check this out. So I'm gonna put this, this socket on, and then I'm just gonna kinda get the end of that screwdriver bit in there, and uh, we'll try to crank it that way. I prefer to think of it as innovation, so this is where I always have trouble, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, but it's facing the other way. I don't know. I'm gonna feel real smart if this works. So I found the screw. No. Yes. What is this freaking thing that's in my way? No. Why? I'm probably reaching in the field of view. So, there's like, son of a gun. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. That idea didn't work at all. This is just turning into a video of me getting frustrated and not fixing anything. I don't think that I'm strong enough to just use my hand and do this. But damn it, we're gonna try. This is where legends are made. Oh my gosh, I did it! I freaking did it! <laughs> oh yeah, the gym's paying off, baby! Oh wait. Oh, sick, it just, okay, I was just being a wee. The moment of truth. I don't even know if I have the right part. No. No. This is why you don't be a part, wait. <laughs> it's the right part. <laughs> It was just up, I was just holding it upside down. I was like, no, I couldn't believe it. I, I had bad camera work, but I was holding it like this. I was like, oh my gosh, dude, I got the wrong part. It's just upside down, I think. Pretty cool, let's go. I don't know if we're gonna get this to work, but I'm freaking pumped. If there's anything I really enjoy in life is something like free. So like some free labor, it's pretty dope. Nuts, dude. This is so annoying. Maybe it is the wrong part, I don't know. I'm so close to having it in place, but I can't get this out of the way. No, please, man. Ah, uh, dude, am I stupid? Oh, this just comes off. <laughs> the whole time it just came off. It's all coming together now, buddy. Right? No, why, why? Oh man, rookie mistake. I don't know what screw goes to what. We're doing it, man. We're freaking doing it. All right, putting the finishing touches in. I'll take you along for the ride. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this at all. I have one extra screw, so I don't really know what to do with that, but I'd say for my lack of expertise, I'll take only one extra screw. Um, hopefully it's not too crucial. All we have to do now is plug back in this bit. So I was just driving this thing. Um, hopefully it's fairly warmed up. I completely replaced the part. Like I said, I have one extra screw. I don't really know where that goes, but all of the mounting screws and everything for the actual actuator, I think that's what the technical part is. Um, everything's all there. I hear some clicking down there. I heard a click down there. It doesn't feel like it's blowing like real cold air, like the outside air, so that's like promising. It's only semi-cold air right now. 
Seems like something's actuating back there. Uh, I'll report back in in a couple minutes when it's officially ready. As any good mechanic does, we're going for a test drive, uh, trying to heat it up a little bit. I'm pretty sure any of the warm air I'm feeling um, is just kind of sitting behind the dash and is being pumped out. So I wanted to get out of my garage because at first I thought it was maybe working and uh, I didn't fix this. This is why I don't work on cars. I'm terrible at this stuff. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I just need to stick to finances. You wanna talk about charitable giving and tax loss harvesting and stocks and bonds and all that fun sort of stuff. I'm your guy. So yeah, next time someone asks, could you maybe help me out with your car? The answer's no. I'm willing to help you. I'm not gonna be able to. Hey guys, Planner Danner, back at you here in the garage. Uh, we made some critical mistakes. We were parts changers. I spent three hours working on this car yesterday, changing one part. I thought it was kind of fun because I never do stuff like that, but I'd rather have work and heat. I drove to work again with no heat. Uh, Caleb and I are going to a concert tonight. I don't want to go there without heat, and I refuse to drive the Z in the snow and um, with salt on the road. So I already took apart the glove box on the right side. Maybe my dad or Caleb will put in some like text for like what I'm actually doing. I thought I replaced the blend door actuator, but I guess there's two of them. And one's like, one would control where heat would go to your face and then to the floor or to the windshield. But the other one is the one that controls heat. So I had no problem switching where the air was going, but I was just getting air from outside. There was no heat, I couldn't make it AC. Um, so we have a part, the glove box, that's pretty easy. I didn't really film that. So now, we'll keep filming here. I don't know if this is a good camera shot. All you need is a 10 millimeter. I don't work on cars, but I know that they always make jokes like, where's my damn 10 millimeter? This is my roommate's 10 millimeter. Right, this isn't entertaining, this is just the back of my head. Okay, we'll cut it. Okay, so what you guys are about to see is me take apart this dash. See, I don't want to break stuff. That's the issue. It looks like I can just pull on that, but I don't really want to do that. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I hate this. So now we're going to try to take this off, and I think we have to take off the vent. Um, I was wrong about what I said earlier. Now I have no heat and it only just kind of blows everywhere. I think what I did yesterday might have made my problem worse. Straight up just not having a good time. I was gonna end up like last time I had one extra screw on the last job that I did over on the other side of the car. Like, I just don't know what I'm doing, man. And this screw's just spinning, I can't get it out. I'm just gonna break it. I'm just gonna break it. I don't care about this car anyways. I'm sorry, Liz. I can't do this anymore, we'll update you later. New update. There's a screw that won't stop spinning that I have to take out. I don't know how to make it not do that. It's little things like this, like, I mean, I don't even, do you need a glove? I don't even think I need a glove box, really. This piece of crap right here just keeps spinning. I feel like I want to just like pull this off. I mean, it's only one, like, it's one screw. I might just start ripping it. Although, if I do that, things are gonna break not where I want them to. What is a guy to do? What is he to do? Okay, we skipped a couple of steps here. I actually watched a YouTube video to do this, so I don't wanna take any credit for this. Um, so, we had to take out the vent right here. Um, as you can see, uh, what you have to do next is you have to just like scrape on the plastic like super hard um, because you will have a screw here that just keeps spinning and it keeps spinning and it keeps spinning and I can't handle that so I was working on that for like maybe 20 minutes and I was like, you know what, screw it. I took this uh, bottle opener just started scraping it like crazy and then I took the dash and I just ripped it as hard as I could and then after that there's gonna be a screw right back in here where you can take off uh, this thing 
It looks like a vent thing. Then you'll have access to the blend door actuator back here, which I had just taken out. There's maybe four or five screws on it. And then you just kind of got to put it back together. So when I was working on the mode door actuator, I'm like, these pins don't really seem to line up all that great. Um, but somehow I managed to fit it in there. So I'm hoping that when I install the blend door actuator in the mode door spot, that it didn't mess up the part that I just bought because I'm pretty sure that I have the right part. All I know is yesterday when I was trying to fix it, my air was not changing direction or mode. All right, so I am gonna kind of take the fall for Jake changing the part on the wrong side. I did tell him what part he needed um, and we were good on that. The only part it gets a little bit murky is I told him, well, I'm pretty sure it's under the dash on the driver's side because I just Googled, you know, the location of it. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's there. And he's like, all right. Um, so then he kind of just went for it and uh, changed that actuator. And I am shocked that that, um, you know, that the temperature blend door fit where the mode door went. Uh, that's probably why he ended up with that spare screw that was probably just missing a mounting point on the new actuator. But either way, um, Jake, I'll take the blame for that. Uh, give you a pass on that one. Um, so now I replaced the one that was originally in there. I put it back in. So now I can go wherever I want with the air. Pretty cool. So now we're gonna work on the heat. Um, I'm finishing up the install process. I'm gonna have to get back to you guys, but I'm pretty stoked, man. That's right, fellas. Planner Danner fix this vehicle. The heat is working perfectly. I may not have light in my glove box anymore because I'm messing around with all that stuff, but who cares? We got heat in the winter car. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Blend door actuator, not the mode. Wait, hang on. I think <laughs> I never plugged this in, so. Let's try to make it cold real quick and see if this does anything. Oh, would you look at that? Look at that. Check it, boys. Yeah. Realistically, this job, to anyone who could take apart a dash and, well, that part of the dash, take out a glove box, take out a couple screws on the dash and a vent. I mean, if you're good, you could do it in less than an hour. It took me seven, but I didn't pay anyone to do it. Would I pay someone to get seven hours of my time? Probably not, because I'm pretty frugal and cheap, but I did it all on my own and I feel pretty accomplished, so you can't put a dollar value on that. That's right. Final check-in, we're done. Dash is back together. You can see the marks of my frustration right here. This customer's happy. Seven hours to do a one hour job. All you need is a 10 millimeter, a ratchet, maybe a, a Phillips head. Uh, I can't even talk, dude. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, another key to this was that I got my praise music going. That's how I was able to get through. Uh, I found that the swearing was a lot less when I had that going, so. Peace out, Seacrest.